I created an AI chatbot that you can use to practice interviewing. Today, it's going to be an interviewing for an electrical engineering position, and I'm going to be using the voice of Eden Yeager from Attack on Titans. I'm probably going to fail this because I haven't uh, done like anything like too electrical engineering related in a long time. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, thank you, thank you so much time. Ah, thank you so much for your time. Ah, thanks for the interview. You're welcome. Let's get started with the interview. Can you please introduce yourself and give me a brief overview of your qualifications and experience in electrical engineering? Of course, my name is Jared and I got my bachelor's degree in mechatronic engineering at Chico State. Um, for electrical engineering, uh, oops, I had stopped listening. Points. 95. Great, Jared. Can you tell me a bit about your experience with circuit design and analysis? How comfortable are you with software like SPICE and MATLAB for modeling and simulation? Thank you for your honesty, Jared. Circuit design and analysis is a key skill for an electrical engineer, so it's important to stay up to date with the latest software and techniques. Thank you for your answer, Jared. While you gave me two examples, they seem to be a bit vague and not focused on electrical engineering. So like these answers, I, I would really need to flesh out before trying to trying to go in for any type of interview um, so that I could actually talk about them. Thank you for sharing that experience, Jared. It sounds like you have worked on a project that involved various aspects of electrical engineering such as circuit design, troubleshooting, and in particular working with microcontrollers like Arduino. Can you tell me more about some of the challenges you faced with the project and how you overcame them? Well, there were plenty of challenges with the project, but um, so I'm going to actually just try to fail the interview and show you what it does. Um, but, you know, I just kind of let my teammates do everything for me. You know, I kind of just sat in the back room and, and let them do the uh, hard lifting. And uh, yeah, I got my degree. Jared, it's concerning to hear you say that you let your teammates do everything for you during your senior project. As an electrical engineer, it's important to be an active contributor and take the initiative to solve problems and work collaboratively with your team. Could you please provide a different example where you played a more active and hands-on role in solving a technical problem? Well, I was tasked with getting the group some chips from Safeway. And so I went to Safeway and grabbed some chips and drinks so that we could have enough energy for the night. And that played an active role in teamwork. So I think that was really, I think that was a, a good thing to do. So it should be failing me pretty soon. So let's see. Points 50, Jared, I appreciate your enthusiasm for team collaboration. But the specific example you provided isn't necessarily relevant to an electrical engineering position. That was a technical problem. We were technically hungry. Points 45. Jared, I understand that nourishment is important, but what I'm looking for are examples of technical problems that you have faced in a work or project setting and how you resolved them. Can you provide me with another example? No, I cannot provide you with another example. These, I think, are good enough for that electrical engineering position. Points 40, Jared, I'm sorry to say this, but I don't think go. you have provided enough evidence of your technical abilities and problem-solving skills for this electrical engineering position. Based on your answers, it seems you have limited experience with circuit analysis and design, simulation software, and troubleshooting. Thank you for your time, but I think we will have to end the interview here. Can you tell me where I... Can you give me some specific points to improve upon so that I can... Ace the next interview? Certainly, Jared. I would suggest brushing up on your circuit analysis and design skills, as well as becoming familiar with software like SPICE and MATLAB for simulation and modeling. It's also important to be able to provide specific examples of technical problems you have faced in engineering projects and how you solved them. Additionally, showing a willingness to take initiative and collaborate with team members is crucial. Good luck in your future interview endeavors. Thank you. Quit. Okay, so that is a demonstration of the chatbot. I successfully failed the interview. And yeah, this was, uh, this was, didn't take too much time. Um, so it's only 130 lines of code. Um, and this is with the latest ChatGPT API. And I thought this was pretty cool. I'm using it to make some other chatbots and, uh, and smart chatbots. And yeah.